Okay, in this video, I'll show you how to use Blazing Proxies with Instazid. Okay, so uh, first of all, you need to access your dashboard here. All right, so once you've accessed your dashboard and assigned all your proxy locations, uh, next thing you need, need to do is authorize three IP addresses. Okay, so first off, you actually need to select the VIP as authorization type. Okay, so you want to do that. Authorize your own IP as well as these two IPs. Okay. So these two IPs um, are actually part of Instazit's server. Um, so you need to make sure you have at least three IPs authorized. Your IP, your computer's or server's IP, and these two um, server IPs for Instazit. Okay? Uh, make sure you have all these IPs authorized for at least 10 minutes. Okay? All right. So mine have already been authorized. Um, and then uh, another thing to keep in mind, um, Instazid uses SOX. SOX uses port 1080. Okay, so we need to manually assign the port 1080 into SOX. But first of all, let's export our proxies and uh, assign the port 1080 and have a list um, associated with our IPs, okay? So what you need to do, select export, and then I just have USA dedicated proxies. Once you select um, that tab, you want to copy your list, paste in your notepad, okay? So we want to paste in our notepad and then do a find replace function, okay? So what you need to do is select edit, replace. So we need to replace 3128 with 1080, okay? So you want to replace all, exit out. And as you can see, you can see my list along with the port number 1080, okay? All right. So, next thing we need to do is log into our Instazid dashboard. So, I'm already logged in. Um, you can see my uh, test Instagram account over here. And you can see what the dashboard looks like. Okay. All right. So, from there, you need to assign the proxy to your um, Instagram account. So, you need to select settings over on the right hand side over here. Okay. Do this from the beginning. All right, and then you want to use a proxy for this account, and then let's just select one of the proxies. We'll do this top one up here. Okay, copy. Proxy host is the actual proxy IP. Proxy port, this is where you manually assign the port 1080 and 80, and then you can use either SOX 4 or 5, um, doesn't really matter, and then you can just leave the username and password blank. Okay. So you want to save, okay, all right, and then uh, you can test just to make sure. All right, proxy's good to go. Um, if you have any other questions, please let us know.